Okay, welcome to part two. With part two, I was kind of experimenting on what I wanted to do. I tried to do the stamping method. Um, there's a guy online who did it with a 1022, turned it pink, and he also did a uh, ACU type pattern. Um, as you can see, I tried it. Um, I had to try a lot of stamping methods right there. And uh, so far, it's kind of been a failure. So uh, guys, uh, if you do try the stamping method, the no stencils involved uh, method, um, know a couple of things. You're gonna end up with like weird shadows and raised areas because it'll put extra paint on the edges. Um, what else? Um, getting the pattern quite right also is another thing. I wanted to complete it and then show you, but I didn't want to waste the paint. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into just a regular dark deep forest green. Um, and then I think I'll just leave it like that until I can find an easier way to uh, camo this out. So uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna hit it with some paint now. I'm actually nervous, why am I nervous? Oh, I hope this turns out all right. Yep, those raised, those raised uh, edges are showing now. Darn, how am I going to fix that? You can literally see it in the camera. Uh, hope that levels out somehow. And it's way too humid to be doing this, but what the hell. Man, Ryan, uh, why you gotta destroy stuff? And, uh, that's a green rifle. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. See if it levels out a little bit. Let's go check. Seems to be dry. You can see that on camera. Those raised areas are still showing. It's even more evident in real life. Which means, uh, this is the part I hate about painting is when you like mess it up. I'm gonna have to go grab a sanding sponge from Home Depot or something and file down, I mean sand down all of these raised areas. Great, let's get to work then. All right everybody, I sanded all this down with a sanding sponge and some sandpaper I had lying around. I actually didn't actually have to go to Home Depot or whatever, I thought I did. Um, so all this is taken care of. Um, I don't remember how many coats I did, probably three or four of this, uh, what is this? This deep forest green. And remember, they look the same on top sometimes. You gotta read it on the label. Next, I'm gonna hit it with this Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Enamel. I made sure to go with matte so it wasn't shiny. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna hit it with this and uh, see what sticks. Getting good at getting those paint covers off. Some people can't do them. Um, let's see, now this stuff is basically like clear nail polish almost. It even smells the same. So uh, yeah, let's just get to it. Oh man, what sucks is when it's in a shadow because the sun is that way. It's hard to see your lines. So, pretty much winging it. Hit the other side. Now see this white haze right here? That'll go away. Um, sometimes it does stick to some places if you lay this on too thick. Uh, but so far I think it's okay. I'm gonna let this dry. Um, I can hit this as well, I guess. There we go. Just leave all that to chill for a while. 
Here's the finished product. It turned out to be an urban OD green type color. You can see me loading the 270 ammunition. Let me tell you, this rifle kicks like crazy. You can tell I'm a little bit nervous right here, trying to figure out where to put my hands and the sling and whatever. Um, I haven't used a bolt action in like seven years, so this is kind of me testing the waters a little bit. Now that was a jarring recoil right there. It's because this rifle is so lightweight. Anyway, uh, this is how it turned out. If you like it, you know, you can try this for yourself. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, I will be doing painting videos in the future, so keep an eye out for those.